Okay. Welcome everybody. Hello everyone. How are you? Uh, welcome back to another webinar with uh, Yes Education. I hope everyone is doing well today, wherever you may be. It's um, coming up to Lunar New Year in East Asia. So those celebrating, I hope uh, everything is going well in the lead up to the Lunar New Year. I myself in Vietnam are very excited for the Lunar New Year coming up here today. So um, coming up with the Lunar New Year, we have our special uh, study in China series. So that's why we have invited uh, the University of Nottingham Ningbo, China to come do a special presentation with us today. And many of you have been asking about this specific uh, webinar. For me, this is one of the most impressive universities, not only in China, but around the world uh, right now. Um, I've been there many times. And in fact, um, as you may know, uh, Mike Lin, our, our director, uh, is a highly respected alumni um, at uh, the University of Nottingham, uh, Ningbo, China. He was one of the first students when this university was set up um, in 2004. So a lot of you know that um, University of Nottingham, Ningbo, China is a really highly respected university with a, a thriving international community of around 8,000 students um, and staff from more than 70 countries. Highly, highly international um, school. Um, many of the academic staff are world-renowned in their fields and have been um, recruited from top uh, authorities uh, in the education industry. Um, their, in, their international uh, students gain crucial knowledge of China, which of, of course, uh, everyone knows China, one of the most exciting countries uh, to be right now, the world's second largest economy um, and a major player on the world stage, um, which sets them, which uh, students will find will set them apart from others in a global competitive market. So students at UNNC, not only do they get to know about China, but they really get to know about the world as well. Um, there's so many different students from around the world that go study um, at UNNC um, and their international experience also adds to their employability after graduation. I know myself, I studied in China and I feel um, exactly the same way. So today um, we have two uh, distinguished guests uh, that will be presenting uh, on UNNC, uh, which is uh, Eve Xu, um, who is the um, the regional manager for South Asia. Then we have Viola Ye, who is a senior manager uh, for the International Recruitment Office um, at UNNC. So today they'll be going through things like uh, popular programs and fees, uh, student life and living costs in China, um, internships and graduate opportunities, uh, and we'll go through the admission process, uh, entry requirements, uh, scholarships, uh, and the benefit of studying uh, an English language program uh, in China. Uh, and everyone knows as well, University of Nottingham is a top 100 uh, ranked school uh, in, in QS. Um, so there's a lot to get through today. Um, very, very exciting school. Um, so let's hear from uh, the team. I'll pass it over now to um, Viola and Eve. So how are you guys doing today? Thank you again for joining us. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, me and Eva are very happy to join this session organized by Yes Education. As Bo has been introducing, that um, Mike is our, also our alumni, and we have all the reasons that would like to be shared to more students in your regions, so then they can join us and receive the best best balance in terms of education quality and cost. Um, my name is Viola and currently looking over the whole international student recruitment. And in case of any further uh, questions regarding partnership and etc., I will be the person to contact with and introduce you to the regional manager's correspondent team. And Eve today is also with me and I'll leave it to Eve for a self-introduction and the introduction of our university. Thank you very much. Thank you, Viola. Uh, my name is Eve and a colleague of Viola, and we both working with the international student recruitment team. And thank you both for introducing us first, and I will be very happy to welcome you all to our webinar session. And I would like to introduce more about our university in different aspects. And it's going to be split up into two parts. Uh, um, for the previous one, I would like to do a brief introduction in terms of of all the aspects that we can offer. And we have 15 minutes left for you to uh, raise up your questions and I'll be here to answer all your inquiries related to our university. And first of all, um, 
Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if you can all see the share screen. Can you yes. all see the share screen? It's good. Yeah. So first of all, let me introduce more about our university. Um, actually, we are one of the three branch campuses of the University of Nottingham. And you may already know that we are one university using one language and also granting one degree. And actually, we are the newest campus located in Ningbo and established in 2004. But we are also the one, the first one to set up such, such kind of Sino-British and Sino-Foreign co-cooperative um, education system. And also it's because of the bondage because between Ningbo City and Nottingham City, very happy to provide such kind of um, tryout to our international students and the domestic students. And here you can see that uh, we provide the same Nottingham University degree. And also we may offer different kinds of pro programs provided on different campuses, um, but um, our tuition fee can be a quite cost effective option if you want, would like to um, get the same degree, but in a different destination country. And all the certificates are internationally recognized. Um, actually, as a truly global university located in China, the campus view should also be very similar, especially in terms of the track building that you may see. On the right side, um, on the left side, is the Trent building located in Ningbo. And nowadays it's mainly used as the administrative uh, building where you can also find us. Uh, we are also working here and doing this webinar session with you guys at Trent 234. And on the right side is the original building of Trent, Trent building located in Nottingham city. So you can see the campus view is quite similar. And if you have visited in China, especially to the Nottingham University, uh, Ningbo campus especially, you will find it's quite similar to the pure British style in terms of the, all the formats and all the atmosphere that you may feel. But actually I want to mention that nowadays uh, the campus is under quite severe security, um, security control because of the pandemic and the, generally our campus is not open to the public, which means that you need to swipe your campus card to get entrance, but it's um, extremely um, safe, uh, especially to our students. And it's also beneficial for our international students out of the security reason as well. But actually the city itself is quite safe and I would like to introduce a little bit about Ningbo later. So here are some the university highlights I would, like, I would like to share with you. As I mentioned before, we were established in 2004 and also the first Sino foreign university. And nowadays transnational education has become the new trend for the students to consider to change to their destination for studying abroad. And such kind of cooperation, cooperative style of students will also provide you with a new experience to know about different culture, but also uh, using the same medium of study. I mean, uh, if you are going to change your destination, you will also find the most accommodative uh, language of medium that you're going to receive and also the same degree. So that's what we can offer. And in that way, actually, it's totally okay that if you cannot speak Mandarin or Chinese language, because English is the medium of instruction in terms of all the academic stuff, and also uh, the administrative support that you can get on campus, which means that from your application for your degree study, you can come to us for help. And after your registration, you can also go to our hub, for example, to get all kinds of support with one-stop solution. It's, it's very convenient for you and don't worry. But uh, with the most diverse community that we can provide on campus, you can also get a very special first-handed experience in China because we are now quite, um, in terms of the economics, we are the world top two economics in the world providing so many job opportunities. So it's also recommended for you to travel to China before 
you have considered your application or know more about campus because it's all integrated with your study abroad experience. And as Bo has introduced about our university already, we are quite internationalized and nearly 70% of, of our teaching staff, they are from, uh, they are appointed directly from our UK counterpart. So we keep the same standard of our teaching level and also the standard, uh, the ways that we deliver our education and also the class, the class mode is quite similar to the UK counterpart as well. For the pure British teaching style is combined with the lectures, seminars, and also tutorials. And um, if you are an engineering student, it's also combined with much laboratory works, which, which is all combined way. Uh, but for some, uh, for example, if you are in, enrolled into humanities and social science programs, that means that you are going to do a lot of research work. And we also share the same resources with our UK counterpart with all the columns that we can get and provide with the pure British origin uh, collections of the book because we are also updating our library collection on monthly basis and also all shared online resources that you can do the research online by NU, uh, by NU search. So it's all one integrated resources that you can get from one university. So um, as I mentioned before, we are um, keeping the same standard of our teaching, um, teaching level. And we have been certified with TF Gold for the uh, past few decades. And also um, it's very st stable for us to keep the top 100 university in terms of the QS ranking. And we have been placed at 99th in the QS world university ranking in 2020. And also, um, here is a review from the QAA. It mentions that UNC's impressive uh, achievement as an integral part of the University of Nottingham, the academic standards and the quality of student learning experience at UNC are equivalent to those of home university. Oh, I have found some questions in the chat room. That's okay. We can um, we can answer the question at the end. Okay. Okay. So I will just proceed with your uh, with, with my introduction now. And also, we provide students with much exchange and study abroad uh, opportunities uh, because we are now increasing the partner university around the world which means that if you have registered with a program study with us, um, you can choose uh, one or two semester to study abroad as an exchange university, as an exchange student. And in our past semesters, we also welcome lots of exchange in students, especially from UK, UK counterpart or Malaysia's counterpart. And they really provided with much interesting sharing with their experience to stay in China for this one or two semester. And we have posted many of the many of their stories on our Facebook as well. And I have also included some in my presentation later. So you can have a check about uh, their reviews. So here comes a very important part. Where in China does Ningbo locate? And it's also a major concern for our international students because Ningbo is not that popular among the foreigners, especially to those who like to visit China for fun because we are not that kind of tourist attraction to, the, to them. But actually we are quite near to any parts of China and especially it's very near to Shanghai. So if you have booked any flights, directly flight from, from your home country to Shanghai or Ningbo International, Lishou International Airport, we will provide you with the pickup service. So don't worry if you have around, uh, arrived at Shanghai Airport and our university staff or our student volunteers will be there to help you. 
And actually, if you want to do a weekend excursion to Hangzhou or Shanghai, it's also very convenient because um, if you have do, done any research in terms of traveling in China, you'll find that the bullet train would basically take you anywhere, any parts in China nowadays. And it's also in one line from Ningbo to Shanghai and Hangzhou is in the middle of, the, of your trip. So from Ningbo to Hangzhou, it would just take you within one hour ride on a bullet train. And if you're going to Shanghai, it will take you less than two hours ride to Shanghai, which means that uh, for our graduate students, if you, go, if you are going to attend any job fairs or take some internships, you can just uh, go to Shanghai for an interview and come back on the same day. And you can also chill out a little bit with your best friend in Shanghai as well for the entire weekend. So it's all well connected and convenient for you. Um, here I've got some uh, city view short videos for you. So how, uh, this is how the Ningbo city will look like, but actually to be honest, it's not that populated compared to Beijing or Shanghai because we are the tier two city. Not that uh, highly competitive, not that populated, but you can really enjoy a work-life balance and the city itself is very green. Here is the student sharing. Clara is from Spain and she stayed here as an exchange in students and shared so many interesting stories and her unique experiences to study with us. So as she mentioned here, coming back to UNC campus from the nearby bars was not a nightmare, but a pleasure. I felt safe and enjoyed my late night walks. Nobody ever kept calling me or tried to get my attention, neither at night or day during my semester in Ningbo. And it's according to the statistics that we have collected for the past year, Ningbo has been ranked as top 10 city in terms of the well-being and happiness in China. And also, uh, it's also the tier one of incoming of uh, incomes that uh, in terms of the GDP and also the average of income in China. So uh, generally it's very wealthy and very safe. So don't worry if you are going to hang out too late and come back to the campus because we do not we do not have the time limit when you come back. So you're going to have a good time here and stay safe all the time and also uh, enjoy the balance of your daily study and your exploration to the city with its culture and have some good trips in terms of the city excursions to the nearby travel spotlight. And I believe you are going to really enjoy it in terms of anyways. So uh, for the direct flights, it's also well connected, especially within the Asian, Asian countries. And we have direct flights to South Korea, especially. But if you're going to transfer from Beijing to Shanghai, it's also very convenient for you to jump on into the bullet train and it will take you within five hours, even you are transferring from Beijing. So um, what I mentioned about Ningbo is just a glimpse of Ningbo and a very simple um, impression that we can get from international students, but there is a lot for you to explore later. Um, the feature of Ningbo City is that we are located uh, beside the East China Sea. So we have a very long developed coastline and the, uh, the city itself is also featuring with the international trade because we have the world's busiest port in terms of the cargo tonnage and it's located at the east end of Zhoushan port. So uh, for our university, we are just located at the Southern Business Center where you can see the shining building here. Actually, the building with the pointed roof is called the Ningbo International Trade Center. And we have so many community, communities around the world to establish such kind of connections. And it's also very convenient to have a try with the internships provided with such kind of 
companies and related industry just in the surroundings area. And you can definitely live on campus and do the internships at the same, at the same time. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of experiencing events free to for free to provide our international students to know more about our traditional Chinese culture. And we also offer free city excursions, not only within Ningbo and also to the other parts of China, such as uh, Xi'an, which is located at the western part of China, and also Suzhou. It's, uh, it's not very far from Ningbo as well. So you can definitely know more about different parts of China while your stay in UNNC for your degree study as well. And most importantly, some students with the Chinese origin may would like to improve their Mandarin skill and also improve their Chinese level. We offer free Mandarin courses throughout four years of study if you are regist registered with your undergraduate degree, but some students may register with three years of study. So which means that you can definitely enjoy the free Mandarin courses throughout your stay here in China. So no matter how long you're going to stay here for how many years, you can always advance your Mandarin and also put it into real practice with your classmates because you are going to have a real, really mixed community in your classroom. So it's a great place for you to have a combined experience with the British style and also your first-hand China experience as well. So here comes to our program, which is also very important for our international students to know more about what we can offer. And here I can just start from the University of Nottingham Business School. And here I have listed all the undergraduate programs. Uh, it's all listed here, but you can really tell it's a great feature that we offer so many options really um, strongly related to international business. But there are some divisions related to economics, management, communication studies, and language. And it is quite uh, differentiated into different modules, compulsory modules, which is embedded with your um, degree study. But um, actually it's rooted from the city itself is that it's greatly featured to Ningbo and is much involved with international business. Um, but um, I can really tell for the admissions to the business school can be quite competitive no matter with the domestic student recruitment or the international student recruitment, um, it's highly demand for the students to have a high performance, especially with their mathematics. And for the domestic students, um, we especially require them to have to achieve a higher score, uh, especially with English performance in their um, national entrance exam, which is also called Gaokao in China. So here is some, here are some key figures uh, to share with you guys about um, faculty of business in UNC. And we are now providing our uh, FOB staff and students with a new place for them to conduct with the research and also it's integrated with the incubator that we are open to the public. I believe uh, the incubator of UNC should be accomplished by the end of this year or by the start of next year. And it's very big. So for our uh, graduates who are going to start up their own business, it can really start from our incubator because for our graduate students, um, we offer free and discounted um, office place for you to establish and start up with your own company. That's because we have so many international students, they have already um, have connections with their uh, family business because international business is quite um, usual to find for them to have the origin to study with us first. And then they gradually like to start up with their own company. So that's why um, there are some international students highly um, interested to apply for their own company. So um, for the business school students or graduates, you can really have a try. We offer uh, free choices and also discounted prices to our on-campus students and also to the alumni. 
Yeah, I want to mention that accreditation is also very important and all the programs that we provided by the Faculty of Business, they are all equis accredited. And besides it, in terms of all the accreditation that you would like to take further, such as ACCA, CPA, CFA, CIM. So for such kind of exams or certificate that you would like to uh, get later and prepare it for your career pathway, because uh, it's all certified, um, you may have some credits exam uh, exemptation. So you, don't, you do not have to attend all the examinations required by CC ACCA or CFA to get a certificate. And also if you're graduating from marketing related uh, majors, it's also CIM certified. And in terms of the job recruitment, uh, because it's internationally recognized, it will be a great advantage for you to enter to the related industry. And here are some interesting stories that I would like to share within the alumni graduated from the Faculty of Business. Static, um, he is originally from Nigeria and he actually started with his own enterprise and company by selling the rice in Africa region. And he did really good job and was ranked within the 30, world 30 figures under 30 years old. And another girl named Safas. I happen to know Safas from LinkedIn because of her influence um, in terms of all she has done with the charity um, projects and also fully involvement with the women um, revolution activities, which is happening in Maldives and also the United Nations, who really has an influence and impact to the contemporary world. And also here are two domestic graduates called Chen Beiyer and Chen Cheng, who also had their own influence uh, in the Forbes under 30 years old. So um, the we offer the degree that is that is internationally recognized, but also we, we need to we are dedicated to building up a globally recognized reputation to all our graduate students to pave, pave the way for their future development as well as building up their personal branding with the Nottingham University um, that we can offer. And here comes to the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. So um, here's all, here are all the programs that we offer. Um, it's worth mentioning that economics is now under the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. It's not under the Faculty of Business. And there are also many other interesting programs offered. For example, international communications. International communications has been ranked top three in China. So it's very, uh, it provides with you with this very interesting modules and very combined and practical modules with your solid um, theoretical training. So uh, you learn a, a lot about the contemporary world in terms of the new media, the means of public um, relations, and also some cutting edge theories in terms of the culture studies, et cetera, et cetera. And you may also choose the language modules, which is integrated with your program study with international communications or international studies. And there are so many options provided, not just within Chinese, but you can also choose to learn more about Japanese, German, French, um, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it's also a great feature that within the faculty of humanities and social science, not only the student resources that we've got, but also the staff is quite diverse. And we now have more than 2,400 students coming from 
41 countries and regions. So in your class, you may find, although it's not a very big size, but everyone is coming from different background. So it's going to be quite diverse and very interesting. And we also offer many um, cultural oriented events and fairs and most importantly, um, our exchange student rate is very high among faculty of humanities and social science. And here are the two figures provided by international communications and international uh, studies majors. And nearly 100% of the students are offered a choice to exchange out. And I'm afraid because of the COVID-19 is temporarily postponed but um, in the upcoming years, the students are still open to all the exchange out opportunities to, um, as I mentioned before, to over 100 partner universities. And we have connections between not only English speaking countries, but also to, um, for example, for uh, South America's universities, you can use your Spanish, which you have learned with your IC or IS in your compulsory modules with language modules. So you can have a try and practice with your exchange experience. And it's very worthy for us to recommend students to explore a different culture and have the specific interest with the program that related to faculty of humanities and social science. Yeah, actually I have to say with the specific career pathway uh, of planning, the faculty of science and engineering should be the most favored and popular project that we offer and also receive most inquiries about. So also we offer the most options um, from the faculty of science and engineering as well. So um, it's, I, I think it's not uh, enough time for, for me to break down into the every introduction of each program, but it's very specifically um, clarified in the each module, each program um, introduction from our official website. You can have a check about the compulsory modules, have a check about the tutors and staff, teaching staff that we have in, in such kind of programs. So a little bit research work should be done by yourself because it's quite different in terms of different subjects you are going to learn and accreditation in terms of the engineering students is extremely important. For example, if you are architecture, architecture students, RIVA should be a most important um, accreditation that you can get because with the progress in study with the postgraduate degree, not, not just in UK or America or Canada, uh, with the progressing um, qualification that we will get in the near future, the only courses accredited by RIBA will help you to be a chartered and certified engineer in terms of the architecture in the near future. So you really need to do some research work about what kind of uh, internationally recognized or accredited program are offered in different destination universities. So choosing from us that way, and we really put a great effort and emphasize with all the international recognition. So to make sure that our graduates will be successfully received and also pursue with the upcoming um, upcoming studies with their postgraduate to become a certified and chartered engineering at last. We also offer the postgraduate programs and yeah, it's still my suggestion that you can just browse a little bit and know more information about our programs and compulsory modules and features from our official website because each program, they are just break down into uh, very detailed information that you may need. And here comes to our entry requirement. I have just listed out the internationally qualifications such as IGCSE or a level IB SAT um, and uh, quite um, usual 
average requirements that we receive for the high school certificate. But actually, it's a rough, it's a roughly provided information. And for different regions or countries, we have more specific similar qualifications, uh, which is uh, transferred compared to our UK, um, compared to our UK band. So it's very detailed and uh, down to different subjects, we have a quite detailed instruction for you to see if you have met with our entry requirement or not. So uh, if you have any inquiries in terms of your qualification, uh, you may uh, contact with ES Education for better information or your possibility to get enrolled or not. And for our postgraduate entry requirement, we would receive students who are holding at least 2.1 level or above, which is equivalent to 60% in the UK qualification. And also we have listed our English requirement here because we are fully taught in English. Uh, it's very uh, important for you to include our TOEFL requirements with, uh, yeah, just to make sure that your, uh, there are some specific requirements with each element, just to make sure all, all your element is passing the minimum requirement listed here. Yeah, there's a lot for me to introduce more about the program because um, once you have chosen your program at the very start, because we are international university, so in that way we also provide with you the two plus two program option, which means that you're going to spend one year or two year in Ningbo campus and also finish your degree study in our UK counterpart. So that is called two plus two and you'll graduate in UK as well. And summer school is for the short term study. If you want to experience a little bit more in other universities and also some specific programs, or if you are high school students want to learn more about how you are going to receive your university study, you can have a try with the short, short term experience in the summer school and also exchange and uh, study abroad opportunities. I have explained a little bit previously as well. So yeah, there's a lot for us to provide you. Here, here are some examples that we have posted on our official website. And here is a link provided here as well. A brief introduction about summer programs that we offer in 2019, but is temporarily paused in 2020 or 2021. But we hope that everything could be put on track um, after the pandemic has gone, um, we strongly recommend the students to have a try with our exchange and summer programs because there are so many opportunities offered on campus. So the most important thing is how to apply. Actually, this year we have adopted the online application system. So uh, the students can just submit their application through the website that is provided here. And also uh, we would strongly rec recommend students to, pro uh, to seek for the professional help with our official and certified partners. And there are four documents uh, would be strongly required at the first hand, um, such as your um, transcripts till now, because that's how we can issue you with the conditional offer before your graduation. And also the basic personal information contained in your passport. And also you need to provide a passport sized photo in the system as well. But you can provide us with your degree certificate, the full transcripts recommendation letter later. And also we require you to achieve the English requirements, but also for, the, for your IELTS result or TOEFL result, you can also provide it later, which means that you can uh, apply for a degree study with without your English level test. So it's very convenient for you as long as you have the transcripts till now. So here's a technical issue, but we will also like to provide you with a quite detailed menu for you to um, go through all the application system later. And also we will provide a, a soft 
soft copy to ES Education later. So you can just request for it and simply browse on it. Application deadline this year is the May 31st. So mark it on your calendar and mind the deadline for your application. And it's very important that all the admissions are going on a rolling basis and also applies with the scholarship application. The annual cost is break, broken down here. The tuition fee is RMB 110,000 for our international students and accommodation is also provided on campus for each um, international students. And here are two types. Uh, if the, the price is 11,000 RMB per year, it's just a shared flat, which means that you are going to have a shared living room with three other roommates, but the other type is a single room. A living cost in Ningbo is around 2,000 RMB per month. We also offer scholarships to our international students and it's mainly given out on your academic performance. So these are the scholarship types that we offer and to apply for the scholarship is also, you need, you need to include your application form in your application system as well. And here is a demo of our um, shared room is, uh, the video is provided within the sample rooms. So here is the sample of the shared flats, which means that you're going to live in your own bedroom and share the other places with your roommates. And here is a single room. So if you're a fan of sports, there is a lot for you to explore on campus as well. And we offer free entrance to the gym and also of the year. And even if you are going to stay during the winter holiday or summer holiday, you're going to have so many free clubs or courses that you can take, take on campus. And also the accommodation is not closed up for international students during the winter or summer break. I think time is a little bit limited for me to introduce about the International Career Week, but uh, here uh, I have listed all the service and support that we provide for our graduating students with all around supports in terms of the job fair, you know, so the employer campus talk, company visit, alumni sharing, and also one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with appointment uh, beforehand so if you need to uh, have some advice on your TV, a CV or uh, have some especially coaching sessions for your career development, you can consult with our colleagues from the career development office and they will provide you with a well around support throughout your job seeking period. So here are some industry brands that we have collected in the 2020 job fair that we have hosted. Some of them are domestic brands and some of them are internationally recognized brands. And there are some uh, Ningbo local companies and enterprises listed here as well. You can see Alibaba. And how to find a job properly, we also provide you with much choices. Entering into the UNC career system, you'll find all the job listed here and also you can update your personal CV and your resume here to choose on the proper interest in the system. So our uh, colleague would also recommend you with the appropriate job post to you and also you can join the WeChat group with all the students that's seeking for the job at, at the same time. And our colleague will still be there 
to help you with all the available job posts that we have on hand and also Korea LinkedIn account of UNC. We also have that. And we also have the uh, update, updating career email notification if you have signed up for such kind of event. Um, I want to mention that NAA is a quite featured awards provided across three campuses and it's also suitable for the international students to take because we also account it as three, uh, 30 credits to gain the award and you have some modules to know more about Chinese culture and also integrated with the mentoring and career studio sessions, cultural awareness, entrepreneurship, and also volunteering programs. So it's all integrated and it's very suitable for the students to consider what they are going to take up later after their graduation. Also, we provide the alumni network across different continents, regions, and countries, and we provide such kind of lifelong connection as well. And we keep collecting the alumni stories from their graduation till the present days. So that's why we've got some interesting stories to share with you guys uh, previously in my presentation and also we keep posting their stories on our Facebook as well. So here are the key figures that we have collected from our graduate students. The, employ in the employment rate is very high and there are also many students choose to study in a world top 100 universities after their graduation for a postgraduate study or start up with their own companies and also directly go to their jobs. So um, here we just further break it down into the destination of our graduates. So nearly um, around 93.4 of our um, graduates have been employed within six months after their graduation. So this figure is highly competitive to all our domestic universities or institutions. And especially you can do the comparison with the other graduates graduating from um, the other universities in different parts of the world. It's highly competitive and our students graduating from UNC and they also enjoy a quite con competitive um, package in terms of the income with their first year graduation. So we welcome your application. And if you have some questions, uh, it's time for you, especially for Q&A now. Great, thank you so much. We'll just go through this uh, this video that looks really great. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Eve, for the, the presentation. Um, it was really interesting to go through the, the careers uh, options there. Um, really supportive uh, service that uh, UNNC has. Um, so that's, that's great to see. And also that employability data was really good to see too. So um, I have some questions here. Yes. Uh -huh. um, so the first question is, if the student is studying bachelor or master's degree, does UNNC offer free Mandarin program for them? Yes, yes. For all the degree study students, no matter which level you are going to study with us, we offer the free Mandarin program. For, for all the students who are studying with the degree programs, especially. Fantastic, yeah, that's such a really good uh, option for, for students. Um, another, question, another question is, um, could, um, specific to South Asia, so this is your, your field, could UNNC accept Indian year 12 qualification into year two of the bachelor degree? So could a student graduate from somewhere like India and then enter year two, is that, is that possible? 
Um, usually, we would like to admit students to the year one if you are going to apply with your high school certificate. And also for the Indian students, because there are so many institutions and we need to go through with your transcript and your institution first, because uh, we have different background information provided in our index. So we need to have a we need to have a check first. But yeah. usually, um, um, hold on, I'm checking our qualification database. We follow exactly the same <laughs> qualification database based on Nottingham <clears throat> University requirement. So regarding this question, in order to give you the most accurate answer, I'm now browsing through the country list and trying to find out the answer for this question. Hold on. Um, so for India, the country, if the student is taking a 12 year education, uh, yeah. may I know if you are talking about the, there are different qualifications in India. Mm. If the student is taking IHSC 12, uh, it depends because there are, for example, CBSE, CISCE, and also Maharashtra board, as well yeah. as West Bengal board or other state boards, it depends. Yeah. And we can accept these students if they can achieve the required score into our qualifying year, which would be the second year of our bachelor's degree, spending another three years to finish the whole bachelor's degree mm. with our university. So the yep. answer would be yes, but it depends on which, which exam board and also what the scores the students have. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's great. So uh, Sylvie, uh, who asked that question, um, maybe, uh, maybe later on you can let me know or let um, Johnny know about the, the background of that student. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then, and then we can look at the admissions, um, um, on a case by case, uh, and depending on which, which board the student has been studying. So you can let, let us know and we'll help with the admissions, um, after that. So another question is, uh, um, so we saw all of the employability data, which is very impressive, um, with UNNC. But the question is, uh, after studies, will the student get a work visa? What is the process to get a working visa uh, in China these days after graduation of either postgrad or undergrad? Yeah, the answer is yes. You need to change your visa status because while you study with us, you are holding the student visa. And if you are going to work in your enterprise who would like to sponsor you with a working visa, uh, our colleague from the immigration center will help you to apply for the visa. And mm -hmm. there are some processes that you need to go through. So you need to consult with our colleague first to get the supportive uh, documents that will need to on hand and then change your big working visa. Mm -hmm. And previously, before you apply for the working visa, you need to make sure that your sponsor would like to support you yep. all the way. Yeah, it's very yeah. important. So, so most students, um, so uh, uh, most students will, um, if they're interested to, to remain in China, they will, of course, uh, participate in the, the careers fair and maybe um, try to attract um, employers to to sponsor them around March or March or April, um, yeah. and then um, they will help with the with the visa or they will sponsor if they're interested in hiring that student. And the good news is that actually the China has uh, is, uh, make it more easier for international students to obtain a work visa in China after they graduate yeah. from a local Chinese university. So previously, yeah. it's, it, they require that the international students should have a master's degree together with two years with work experience. Yeah. Like this is the minimum requirement for international students to, to obtain the visa. But now it's been lo loosened, make it more easier to only bachelors together with no work experience is fine, as long yes. as you can find the sponsor who's willing to, yeah. to support you for the, yeah. for the process. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Mm. Uh, this is a good question as well. What, what is the difference in fees between the UK uh, degree and the degree from China? So for example, if someone does the two plus two program or three plus one, um, will the student pay the same fees throughout? Or if they go to the UK, will they pay the UK fee? Uh, if the students are going to UK for the two plus two program, you got you are going to graduate in UK, which means that you are going to get their de degree certificate. But actually, all the certificate that we provide is the same. 
The only difference is for the st students who are domestic students, they want to get the accreditation from the Ministry of Education in China. It will be a little bit different, but for our international students, it's the same. What, what about the fees? Uh, the fee uh, for the two plus two program, you're going you're going to pay the Ningbo local fee for the first two first one or two years, and also you're going to pay the UK tuition fee for the following two years. Mm, yeah, right. And uh, can you remember um, what the fees are in in the UK? Um, it's quite different depending on different programs. Mm. Each program is different. Yeah. Yeah, much different. As far as I can remember, the business school has comparatively lower tuition fee, while on an annual basis for international students, the tuition fee would be around one, uh, 18,000 pounds. Pound, yeah. 18,000 right, pounds 18, per year, per year, yeah. yeah. So put on, add on the living cost, like the rental and the mm. living, living uh, related, it would be almost, almost double, yeah, almost yeah. double of that in, in yeah. China. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Uh, can international students do internship in China with their student visa? How about part-time job? Um, they can do paid internships, but not the part-time jobs. Mm. We offer internships, paid internships on campus, and also you, uh, the students can find some off-campus off internship opportunities. Um, but if you get the offer of the internships provided off campus, you need to consult with our career development office first to see um, if the company is just uh, well developed or certified in terms of all the security reasons. Yes. <laughs> Great. Um, what, what is the university policy on transfer and what is the minimum requirements for transfer? i.e. how many how many semester must a student um, how, many, how many semester must a student complete before they are eligible for for transfer transfer uh, actually um are you asking about transfer in uh and then he says more importantly would the university accept a transfer with with a change in major so if someone does uh, business first and then change to science for example it looks more like a transfer from another university. Yeah, I'm not. It de not, depends. I'm not. I'm yeah. not sure. We can let, explain let's say. Both. Let's say. Let's say the transfer from uh, from outside of China and in into China. Outside of China, usually I would like to say that transfer from another institution, no matter which kind of country you are from, um, is. It's not that easy because we need to uh, fit into the modules and have a check about all the modules that you have taken to see if you are suitable to continue your study with us. So in that case, many universities, they provide a quite different curriculum. Yeah. So it's going to be very hard for you yes. to get admitted. And in that way, also, there are some students and cases we receive would need to restart from the second year or the first yeah. year. Yeah, so Absolutely. it depends. So in other words, if the student is transferring from a foundation course of any university, that would be a um, seamless connection, meaning mm. that right after they finish the foundation in, for example, Australia or, or Malaysia, then they can join mm. us for our second year. Then there will be another three years for the complete yeah. bachelors. That's, that's not a problem. That will be easy. Mm. Yeah. So it depends to which, into which year they would like to transfer into. Yeah. yeah. Understood. Okay, I think we're, we're almost at 11 o'clock, so I think we're just out of time. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Viola and Eve, for your presentations uh, today. And if anyone has any more questions um, on UNNC, please be sure to ask myself or Mike or anyone uh, at the Yes Education team. Of course, we help with the, the applications for uh, UNNC. Um, the intake coming up in September is open, of course. And it will be uh, the deadline, as Eve said, is the 31st of uh, May uh, this year. So please uh, let me know if there's any more questions uh, related to applications and I'll be happy to help. Um, so I think that will be it from now for us. And um, uh, we'll see you all very, very soon. And thank you very much, Eve and Viola.
for your time. Thank you both. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank everybody. You very much. Great.